Hi everyone, my name is Sean Nolan and I'm here to talk to you today about my top five picks for shows that are opening in the West End in 2016. I'm going to do this video a little bit like how I structured a video I've made on this channel before when I was talking about summer theatre picks, where I'm basically going to talk about the show, describe it, and then show you a quick clip that the show has released for public consumption that I can put into this video. Let's hope there is video are videos, not is videos, there are videos for all of the things I'm going to talk about. So let's start with number five, which is Motown the Musical, which will be opening at the Shaftesbury Theatre on the 11th of February, starting previews. I've got a little bit, little list of notes here, like I did in my last video, on the 11th of February, and it's currently booking to the 22nd of October. This show took over Broadway at the Lute Fontaine Theatre a couple of years ago, had a massively fantastic run, and then it had to close because it was preparing its London production and other productions, and then actually going to reopen it again this summer back on Broadway. Um, but it should be absolutely fantastic. It's a massive jukebox musical with about 40 different songs in it, and it basically talks about the structure of Motown, and how it was built and things like that through all of its music and it should be absolutely fantastic. show that ran off West End, not necessarily in London, but kind of in the country, I'm not quite sure where, and it's finally coming to the West End for its London premiere, and I'm really, really excited, and that's Mrs. Henderson Presents the Musical. It's based on the film, I believe, came out in about 2006 kind of time, starring Judi Dench. It's a fantastic movie, watch it if you haven't seen it already, it's really, really good. And that starts previews on the 9th of February until the 18th of June, I believe it's a limited run, um, probably double check on that, but you can get your tickets down below at London Theatre Direct, and it basically tells a story of of kind of uh, vaudeville performers and things like that in the kind of the more modern society. It's a really, really fantastic story, really, really inspiring, and the musical is supposed to be really, really good. I believe that's opening at the Duke of York's Theatre as well on the 9th of February. Whatever time I have, don't care if it's a little or a lot, whatever time I go will be all It's a play I'm most excited to see this year and I've been wanting to see it for such a long time. I'm so happy it's coming to London and that is Hand to God which will be opening at the Vaudeville Theatre on the 5th of February for a limited season until June the 11th. I'm actually going on the first preview and I'm really really excited. It's basically a story about a boy who has a sock puppet. I don't know why I did a sock puppet narration here and he takes his sock puppet to his church group in the basement of a church and the sock puppet gets possessed by kind of the devil and then it decides to kind of possess the boy as well and it's all about the escapades he goes upon, offending people and having a great time. I believe it's a really similar kind of level of humour to the Book of Mormon and I absolutely love the humour of the Book of Mormon. I think it's so funny, such a fantastic show so this should be really really good fun. I believe it is kind of captioned as being if the Book of Mormon and Avenue Q had a love child, Hand to God would be it and I love both the Book of Mormon and Avenue Q so I will absolutely love Hand to God. I'm Hand to God, the funniest Broadway comedy in years, is transferring to London's West End, where it's already been called a triumph. You only have a few more weeks to see Broadway's most thrilling roller coaster ride before you need a plane ticket, a hotel room, and a passport. Run, don't walk to see Hand to God, American made, London approved. Hand to God, now in its final weeks on Broadway. Get your tickets at telecharge.com today. At number two, we have a massive, massive show which is going to be coming to the West End at the Prince Edward this year. That is Aladdin, starting previews on 27th of May, and it will be currently booking until October 1st, though I will most definitely be extending further. It's actually a really, really massive event because a, Lond uh, a Disney musical has not opened in London, I believe, until the since The Lion King in the late 90s. I cannot think of a time when it's opened after then. Oh, Mary Poppins, that started its life in 2004. But other than that, I cannot think of a Disney proper Disney musical, I mean Shakespeare in Love was produced by Disney, but a proper Disney story that's actually opened in London as a musical since then, which was a really long time ago, and also funnily at the Prince Edward Theatre. Uh, it's supposed to be amazing, it was obviously nominated for the Tony for Best Musical the other year, the film is amazing, and I'm sure this musical adaptation will be incredible as well. It also has a fantastic cast lined up as well, which I'm really excited to be seeing in the show, and if you don't know the story, it's basically about the street urchin, uh, Aladdin, 
and him kind of falling in love with the Princess Jasmine and then trying to become a suitable suitor for him whilst battling her evil uncle Jafar, who was a little bit cre on the creepier side of characters in the Disney world, is a fantastic story and I'm sure it'll also be a fantastic story. <laughs> My number one pick for 2016 has to be the West End transfer of the Many A Chocolate Factory production of Funny Girl starring Sheridan Smith. Please enjoy this very awkward shot of me whilst I tell you that I hadn't recorded this video when it was announced that Audrey McDonald was bringing Lady Day to London at Wyndham's Theatre. Of course, that's our most excited show. It's coming June 25th to the Wyndham's Be There or Be Square. This is the world's, I believe, first major revival of the show without starring... Uh, Barbara Streisand herself, I was going to say Fanny Bryce, that's the character, Barbara Streisand herself as Fanny Bryce, and I'm so excited. I've heard fantastic few reviews of Sheridan Smith in the role. My drama teacher actually went to go and see Sheridan Smith do it at the Many Eight, and he said she was incredible, so I'm so excited to see her do it in the West End. I'm going on April 22nd, though previews do begin on April 9th, whilst performances, official performances start on, I believe, April 20th. I'm going on the Friday. It starts performances on the Wednesday, official performances, and I'm going on the Friday, so I think April 20th is when it starts official performances, and it's currently booking to September 10th. It has already extended the booking period, and it's such a successful booking period, I will not be surprised if it extends even further, a bit like Gypsy did last year, kind of doing a really, really similar run to what Gypsy did last year, obviously. Guys and Dolls sandwiched in between then, which is incredible. I can't wait to go and see that in February, um, but that did start previews last year, so I don't think that really counts as being a show for this year. If you don't know the story of Funny Girl, it's basically about a woman who kind of aspires to be an actress and ends up becoming an actress, and then it's all about her fame and kind of dealing with life. And it's basically the life of Fanny Bryce, a real actress that was in history. Uh, a really, really, really fantastic story, really inspiring and beautiful, beautiful music. I can't wait to see Sheridan Smith in this role. And you can also check out a blog post. I don't know if it'll be linked down below. I will try and comment it down below if it's not in the bio of this video. Basically a full history I created for a blog post on London Theatre Direct of from all the way from Fanny Bryce's life all the way up to the movie adaptation, the original Broadway run, and then this revival. Should be fantastic. I'm really, really excited. So those are the five shows opening in 2016 that I'm most excited to see. If you think I've forgotten any that are really important, please comment them down below. And if you're looking to see anything that opened last year or things like that, I actually made a top five favourite shows of 2015 video on this channel, as well as I've also made my own video, which I reference in there about that. So go and check that out on this channel. It'll be on the videos page. You can go and check out my vlog about that. Um, yeah, I think that's everything. If you want, you can follow me at, on Twitter at ShawneeCat or London Theatre Direct on Twitter at theatre underscore direct. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel because I'll be uploading more vlogs just like this one in the coming future. And I hope you all have a very, very stagey week. Bye, Rob.